Hi there. I'm going to show you um, how to play All About My Girl. Uh, that's a Jimmy McCliff song. It's an organ song. And Albert Collins did that quite a few times, including in this record called uh, Live in Japan. So listen to this. Here's how it goes. Uh, this is a song in C, and it's mostly in the um, C major scale. You do some dominant sevenths, you use some dominant sevenths, especially in the chords. And of course, Albert Collins, being Albert Collins, he would he would use a lot of um, a lot of dominant sevens. But here we go. <laughs> C major chord and you're gonna play let's see this is five seven eight so eight fret to to uh, tenth fret on the B string so that basically is the uh, fifth tone to the sixth tone five to the major six and then back on to the major third on the G string so that would be uh, five seven ninth fret So go five, fifth to sixth, back to fifth, and then major third. This again. So that's five to six, back to five, major three, and then the one tone, which is going to be on the D string, the tenth fret. So fifth, fifth tone to the sixth, back to five, major three, the first, and then you do, so you do a quick double on the, uh, on the first tone, which is the tenth fret on your D string, and then you go from minor third to the major third. Now, the second part has a lot of Albert King's, Albert Collins' Natty Bo. Alright. It's a quick hammer-on. That's something Albert did quite, did quite a bit. Of course, he was tuned to a different tuning, so he would have a capo here and... Um, his, his open string would give him the fifth tone, so he would just hammer right onto the sixth. We just do it in standard tuning, you just go here. Um, uh, that would be the tenth fret, so you hammer on on the A string from the tenth fret to the twelfth fret. Like this. So this is really the fifth. Uh, tone, so you go from 5th to major 6th, 
from the 10th fret to the 12th fret and then to the 10th fret on the D string that's the, that's the tone, that's uh, your C note alright so 10th fret to 12th fret on the A string 10th fret on the D string and then you go from minor third to major third that would be um, <clears throat> that would be um, eight fret to the ten to the ninth fret on the G string. Okay, so he follows up with this. You do the same for the first part. Instead of doing this. So you go 10th fret to 12th fret, and then 10th fret, and then you put your middle finger on the 11th fret on the low E string, and do a minor, minor, teeny tiny little bend on it. basically almost finishes the 12 bars and then before you start the next 12 bar you do this so the first very first lick and then you go to the four finish the 12 bars I was wrong you almost finished the first four bars that's the one chord okay now back to the comping so for the first four bars you're doing the lick and then when you get to the fifth bar which is your four chord now you're gonna start comping the chord and the way you comp the, 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 the thing that I find the easiest and sounds most Albert King like and you also draw from a lot of the horns is you play this uh, three tone shape this is for the four chord, so it's kind of like playing the the dominant ninth, the T bone locker chord, or you know whatever you call it. Um, but you're not playing that; you're just playing the first three notes of it. So this is the uh, your my middle finger is on the on the A string, uh, eight fret. My my index finger is uh, on the D string 7th fret and then my ring finger is on the G string 8th fret and then the way I do it is, is um, I usually hybrid pick but now I'm just using my fingers by the way um, so I just use these three fingers to pluck them at the same time and then back to the first chord one chord um, now the thing you can do is just uh, here, you can go from, there we go, it's easier, you can go from these three, and then back, just lift, lift them and just go one, one string up to the lower strings. You see, I'm just playing these three. So I go... I'm sorry, let's start away. I 
I change up the chords a little bit, which you can. Um, so when I go from four back to the one chord, this time what I did was instead of going from going from here going from here to here, I did. So I basically um, took the inside ninth chord. So the full ninth ninth chord is this. Instead, I do this. T Bone and Duke Robillard does this a lot. So you go from now, but now to the five. So instead of doing this, I actually. You don't have to do it, but I just did that. And then I use dominant seventh here. I go from here to here to the um, to the diminished. Is that diminished or no? This is I think augmented. 